Monday afternoon. By the way, today's Cyber Monday, so I think there's a lot of sale going on. So make sure to make sure to check out the Amazon or various websites. Just make sure. Hopefully, you guys get the best deal you guys possibly get for the holiday season. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. So this afternoon, you know, I'm gonna play with a lot of money. So over the weekend, uh, I. Uh, I changed the pressure stat. So this is the 1990s uh, Lavaboni Pro. And then so it comes with, so at the time when I purchased it, it comes with a fixed pressure stat. But uh, so this one, I modified it. So you can get a separate parts there. You can, uh, you can get a pressure stat that adjustable. So longest time I set at one as my, uh, the boiler pressure. So over the weekend, I changed to like 0.6, okay, 0.6. So what that means uh, with, uh, hopefully I can show you guys. If, if you set at pressure uh, as one bar, the, the boiler is running until you're gonna reach the pressure at one, which means everything gets really, really hot, okay? So that's why I changed to about like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 there. So which means the boiler doesn't have to be, the pressure does not need to be uh, one to get the right pressure. So again, so uh, boiler should be stopped at 0.6. I hope I'm conveying it right there. But again, so I set it uh, 0.6 or so. And then uh, I have the, let's hear, this is the one of our friend, CY's Coffee, you want red wine. Uh, now uh, this, I believe this is a honey process. Okay, uh, I really enjoyed it last time. If you guys are into wine, this is amazing. So with uh, La Paboni, so I s I'm gonna be uh, dosing out about 14 gram here. This is more like a medium to light roast. Uh, more like light to medium roast there. Tasting note is tropical fruits, mango, red wine, and sweet and bright. Okay, so let's get going here. So I think everything should be all good to go. It's been warmed up nicely. And then I'm gonna be using my niche grinder this afternoon. Let's see here. So actually I did open this bag about what, last Monday. I really enjoyed it, except the red one portion okay but hopefully with uh, changing in pressure stat hopefully I can regulate the temperature properly so okay Man, the smell. Man, I can smell the wine. Okay, I mean, this is pretty incredible. I don't know how CY did it, but whoever uh, processed the whole beans, pretty incredible there. Okay, so now everything is nice and hot because again, there used to be, when I set my pressure stat at one, there's piping hot. So now it's definitely manageable, okay? I'm just gonna heat up my Pour a filter. One last time here, and then heat up my cup as well. I'm just gonna go through my process. Unfortunately, I don't have 49 millimeter dosing cup, so this is my homemade dosing cup. Kind of like two step process. And I like to do a little bit of WDT, like so. All right. We should be good to go. I'm just going to shut it off for a second. Okay. I think I said it, uh, Jackie mentioned, it's about 0.7. But again, before I set a one, man, that was way too high. All right, 
here we go. I'm just going to Okay, so this is a 49 millimeter. So what I'm gonna do is, I've been really enjoying the paper on the top. So this is uh, air press paper. I'm just gonna wet it, put it on the top, just like so. All right, I'm just going to lock it in here. So I got, so I'm going to, I like to do about one to two, or one to one to two point five ratio, about 14 gram in around 30 gram out. And that comes to extraction time. Since I'm going to be doing the flow control, so we'll see. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see it there. Start the time. I'm going to lift the lever up. Nice and easy. I'm just going to wait about about what? 10 or 15 seconds or so. I'm just gonna give it a go. I I I wish I had a pressure gauge, but give it a good pump here. Go nice and easy. Won't even see the dripping. Just get a bit good pump here. Go nice and easy. Shrink for around 30 gram. Okay, I'm a little short there, about 25 gram. There we go. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this. So this one is the... Hold on a second guys, let me re... So this is the uh, Yunnan uh, from, uh, I think the China, I think. Wow, you know what? Again, if you guys like wine, this is fantastic. Okay, this is fantastic. Because I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big wine guy, but let's try this anyway. Okay, last time I tried with, uh, with a little Bianca, boy, I can taste all the red wines and Let's see what else. He said uh, mango and tropical fruits. I don't know. Let's find out. Cheers, guys. Man, you know what? I can definitely taste the mango and tropical fruits. <laughs> but, you know, I have to say, I mean, okay, so I had a red wine a uh, few times in my life, okay? Man, I have to say, I don't like red wine. But, again, if you guys like red wine, this one is just like red wine. Man. CY, if you are watching. Okay, I think, I think this is CY roasted. Uh, he did a pretty good job on it. Boy. You have that strong aftertaste. I mean, just like if you guys had a red wine, if you have that aftertaste, that wine taste, this is it. It doesn't taste like coffee, okay? Okay, so uh, Jackie asked, uh, how's the temp? Uh, you know, I'm not sure, Jackie. I, I did not uh, measure it, but maybe I should do that next time. Okay, definitely. But again, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, if, again, if you guys like red wine, this is amazing. 
So I, I think they changed the pressure stat from 1 to like 0.6 or 0.7. I, I changed it and make a big difference in uh, the, the, the temperature of the uh, coffee for sure. Okay, so I think it's much, much better, uh, much balanced shots. Yeah, it's pretty good. But if you are new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, just make sure press like on the videos, okay? Uh, it's going to help me with uh, Google Analytics as well. So hold on, it's uh, Sabi. Sahi asked about, uh, just got the Brewster Pro. Okay, I cannot get a decent cup of coffee. Okay, I have to run playing the. Okay, you know what, uh, sa uh, sa Sahib, uh, what kind of coffee have you been using? Okay, okay, that's the problem. You are using the San Francisco Bay coffee. That is your problem. So they are very dark and oily. I mean, again, doesn't matter what you do on your. Doesn't matter if you have if you are using ten thousand dollar coffee machine. Yeah, you're not going to get a good coffee with that uh, San Francisco Bay. So, uh, if you want to try a store-bought, I, let's see, I recommend the medium roast Lavazza, okay? The Lavazza is pretty good. I have to say the Pete's Coffee has a roasting date on it. Just make sure to get the, yeah, uh, make sure just get the uh, kind of uh, freshest date you can uh, possibly get. And what else? Uh, let's medium roast. Try it with a medium roast. And uh, if you want to be another store bought coffee, the Starbucks, the Blondie roast. The Blondie is fantastic as well. I mean, that one is not bad at all. Okay. The Blondie is supposedly light roast from Starbucks. It's more like medium roast. So try that coffee. Okay. But again, the San Francisco Bay, I did try from Costco. Man, that's, yeah, it's hard to, yeah, you cannot, you cannot get a good espresso out of it. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. So yeah, ju just make sure to switch out the coffee for sure. Uh, John asked, uh, John has a two heating setting on. Okay, so this is the built-in 90s. So I only have one. Okay, I think a newer model. I don't know when they changed, but uh, so one switch for the, the brew. Okay, and the, another switch for the uh, boiler. Uh, kind of like give you more uh, power, more kind of like higher temperature. So you can actually do the pretty good steaming. So, I mean, it's all depends on what you guys like. If, if you guys are into like milk-based drink for La Pabone, I mean, one is pretty good because you get a really strong, the steaming power. And then, but if you are into espresso, uh, I think you want to be, you know, lower than one for sure, the pressure stats. Because, I mean, I, I'm really happy with the shot from, uh, the 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, the pressure stat, so yeah, so that's pretty good. Let's see, uh, John say, uh, is it older? I think, oh, so this one built in 90s, so this, the, uh, this is a pre-millennium, so. And also, uh, you can actually switch out the pressure stat, so I, ha I used to have an older pressure stat, they are fixed, but this one is adjustable. Uh, so I got this one from, let's see here. I, f I forgot the name of the La Pabone specialty shop. But anyway, so it, it's about 30 bucks or so. You can, you can swap it out, it's very easy. Okay. okay. Oh, John said he's in seven days. Man, that's pretty good though. So you know what, I prefer the two switch setup. So you, uh, you, you definitely get a better uh, steaming power. All right. Uh, co no, it's not a coffee sensor. It's not a coffee sensor. Man, I, that's, I, I forgot the name of it. Uh, he's very, uh, really well known. Uh, he's in US. Small shop there. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, Linda asked me which coffee I'm using. So this is the CY's coffee. Okay, so Mr. Coffee Show asked, who would you recommend buying a new Lapaboni? Uh, you know what? If you are new to the uh, espresso, I won't recommend it because this one takes a lot of uh, learning curves for that. It's not an easy motion to learn, okay? It's not an easy motion to learn, but it's re it looks really nice, okay? Definitely conversation piece, but I mean, if you are just getting into espresso, I mean, stick, I mean, I don't know, I recommend like semi-automatic. 
but once you're getting into a milk based drink uh, again so this yeah I mean so this is really good motion to motion for second machine okay John thinks they're good to learn about coffee here I mean this is amazing I mean this one is you have control of every aspect of the coffee making it's all manual okay you have to understand the temperature you have to understand the pressure I mean goodness I mean yeah uh, comes to if you're using the bottomless port filter you have to understand the WDT as well distribution so I mean if you don't learn about coffee sure why not okay but just make sure you have some patience with it okay you have to have some lots of patience to learn willing to learn the machine I'm still learning it so let's see I think Patrick is right so there's so many variables it can be frustrating yep I mean it's not easy machine but again but once you start figure it out once you figure out the Lapaboni I mean if we uh, move on to the next machine you should be yeah you should be set okay you should be set there so again uh, make sure get the good grinder so grinder is a key uh, just make sure get yourself a nice grinder with it uh, comes to price wise it's not bad okay just make sure if you get the Lapaboni get the larger boiler go with the pro model because uh, this is a larger boiler so because I mean if you want to make if you want to make more than three cups yeah just make sure you get the right one because you don't you do not want to refill the uh, boiler the middle of coffee making because everything is all pressurized so yeah so you have to cool down so yeah ju just make sure spend extra couple hundred bucks get the larger boiler there okay and then what else there uh, and, uh, Domini, Dominis Co. Yep, I mean, again, so this is an amazing machine to learn, okay? How to make good coffee. But again, it comes to consistency wise, I mean, it's not consistent, okay? Shot to shot, from my experience though, okay? So, but again, uh, I'll go back to having a good coffee is important and also good grinder. And you know, comes to making coffee with the Lapaboni, you just you know take your time and learn. You know, I think you should be, you should be good to go there. Okay, hold on. We get Leonard mentioned about uh, okay thinking of upgrading my setup by starting. Ooh, getting an Atom seventy five. Eventually get the Bianca, unless I hit the Larry. I'm looking at the, you know what. Autumn 75 is great coffee grinder, okay. And the Bianca is also great setup. So yeah, I mean, goodness. Uh, start with grinder, okay. I think uh, I think I go with the grinder first. Okay, and then it's a uh, let's say uh, 99 Euro Piccola with a niche. That's a really good combination as well. So because you figure uh, what La Paboni costs you about thousand bucks. And then a niche grinder costs about 700 so under two grand, you can get an amazing setup. All right, so any tips on pulling super bitter? Okay. Okay, so AJ asks, any tips on I am pulling super bitter shot? Okay, bitter shot means, you know, it can be a couple of things. Uh, water is too hot or uh, your grinder setting is too fine okay so because uh, before I change my pressure stats I have to watch the temperature so I mean my shot can be very worry and very bitter but so that's why you have to really watch your temperature so I mean yeah I mean definitely yeah uh, uh, definitely check the temperature before you pull the shot there so I do have a, a temperature strip here but I prefer using, let's see here, my thermal heat gun, not the heat gun, but the temperature gun, so I can uh, see the exact temperature on that. So, but again, just make sure to watch out for the temperature. And then once you figure out the temperature, uh, you should have a pretty good shot. Okay, uh, Sahib uh, talking about, let's see here, choice, or let's say, Brista Pro or Bambino Plus with a smart grinder. Okay, good. Ended up going to, uh, you know what? I really like Brista Pro, I have to say. The built-in grinder is pretty good. 
they're, it's not that great, but they're pretty good grinder. And the Pro comes with what, eight bar pressure? So, I mean, you can get a bottomless pore filter, and I mean, yeah, you can get a pretty, really good shot with it. So, I think you're gonna be happy with it. Yes, and then also the milk base is fantastic. I mean, you can actually steam some good milk really fast. Yeah, so yeah, so I think, I think that's a good choice there. But again, the built-in grinder is only good for pretty much espresso. So, I mean, if you guys are into, you know, if you wanna be, if you wanna do like pour over, French press built-in grinder is not suitable. But if you wanna make latte or Americana or, you know, any kind of espresso drink, yeah, they're, they're fine. All right, I think we are pretty good this afternoon. So again, the temperature, the pressure stats, I mean, works beautifully. Okay, this, this shot, I mean, this coffee, you know, I'm not a big fan of a red wine, so, I mean, if you are into red wine, this is amazing. Okay, this is amazing coffee. Again, I'm gonna big shout out to CY. Yeah, goodness. Hopefully he can come up with something else, it'd be great. Maybe uh, like, I do like like watermelon or some kind of fruity, like, let's see what else. Like watermelon is good, I really enjoy the watermelon. Kind of like apple, strawberry, but yeah. Red wine, I'm not quite sure. All right, anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday afternoon, okay? Make sure to check out the Amazon, okay? Uh, they got some great uh, Cyber Monday deal going on, so yeah, make sure to check it out today. And uh, if not, you know, hopefully they're gonna, we're gonna have some better deal though, because the only deal I found was a Brista Express selling for 600 bucks. And the Pro still at still 800, so it's about $200 difference there. Okay, I think we are, Justin asking me Instagram. You know what, why not, okay? Uh, let's jump into Instagram and uh, let's chit chat for a little longer. Uh, if not, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning.